What's up? <laughs> Monzo Viper's still on. I am groggy. It is Saturday morning on the 21st. You'll see the light levels going up and down because we got clouds. We're in between storms right now. San Diego is getting hammered with storms of the decade. We had one uh, Thursday week. We had one yesterday, last night. Not bad, not bad. We had some major flooding on that. And luckily Saturday morning, because that's when I go out, woke up, it wasn't raining. And and I can't see, can I switch? I can't switch midstream here. But, uh, so I head over to the swap meet and that's where I'm at now, actually leaving. Um, there's about six vendors there. Typical for a day like today. But hey, I'm not going to miss out. I'm not going to lay in bed and say, there's something there that's a treasure, but I'm not going to go. I'm going to sleep in because there's not going to be lots of people. I don't care. There are some people, and it's free buyer day like this. They don't charge the buyers to go in. So I got a couple items, so it wasn't worth less trip. I picked up a ATT. TT yeah. Go phone sealed. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit tweaked here and there because it was a storage box. So, um, these uh, go for around 30 bucks. I paid five. And let's take a little side trip. When I say go fours, sells for 30 bucks. I'm not trying, I'm not just guessing, I'm not pulling a number out of my yoo-hoo here saying 30 bucks. Um, I encourage you all to go check it when you find it uh, because prices fluctuate. What I'm saying is I checked it while I was in there beep, 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 and I pressed the completed button and it had solds for $30. So that's why I, at this time, in the universe I am hoping to get $30 for this item your mileage your time in the universe may be different so don't just grab things because I said it or somebody other said it who says they're a guru or whatever prices fluctuate daily you know there may be later on the day somebody or a couple people get 50 or 60 of these and they get them for a buck a piece so they're gonna sell them for 15 bucks. Well, there it goes. So you gotta check daily on your items, even if it's something you've gotten before. Don't trust what the gurus find and go off them. Do your own damn research. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Not getting much sleep. My beard's been talking to me. And then I got this little thing in a box. Warning, not intended for use with satellite TV. <laughs> what it is, is, um, and I used to do this stuff for a living. Oh, instruction book. That's two instruction books, so you might have more. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. It's a CCTV, um, or CATV amplifier splitter. See it there very well. But it has an input, and then it has a power in, and then it amplifies the signal so you can get your cable or whatever, your porn. And if I checked right, it does have the power inserter. I, mean, I should probably double check right. I just saw the box. Whoa, it's heavy. Yeah, it's got a power inserter. It's not a normal power inserter. Now it's got the plug to plug in the wall, but it plugs it in by cable. And cable, I mean the coax. Okay, so I paid four dollars for this item and it has sold so it can go for $99 that's my goal $99 so again your universe may be different you may be in a bizarro universe and yours don't sell well don't blame me 
So now, I'm gonna make one more stop. We're moving now. There's um, my regular haul place. It's called Dan the Holloway Man, or they call it the Santee Yard Sale. Dan picks up things from estate sales, storage units, office cleanouts, wherever, brings them all back, and then his wife and friend go through things and put them up for sale or throw them away. Actually, this week with the rain, they've been putting a lot of things out in the free pile, and I've gotten a lot of free stuff. Like just last week, I got a free Apple remote. Sold it 10, 10 minutes after listing it. Not much. 10 bucks plus shipping. But it came from free, so that's my money. And a couple other things there. I've got them all listed. I got a bunch of free keyboards that I haven't listed yet. I have to get start getting through my pile. But yeah, this is a little in between storms because last night we had the nasty one, um, really good floods and everything. And we're supposed to have scattered showers today, so I want to get in there. It's kind of I don't see any cells. But tonight, tomorrow morning, it's supposed to pick up again and rain all day tomorrow. Probably starting from 11 a.m. So I have a chance to make it back to the swamp meet tomorrow morning. Hopefully there'll be a few more vendors. So that's the game plan anyway. And from tomorrow afternoon through Monday, game's over. Rain of the century or whatever they want to call it. We're supposed to be lots of rain. But uh, I'll be hunkered down the house and just working on shipping and listing. Now this place is right over here, so I'm going to babble on and if you guys want to see it. I might babble off and then turn it back on so I can have the camera the other way so you can see. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'll talk to you just guys in a few minutes when I get closer. Bye. Yeah, I'm back and we got an ambulance heading out here. Hope the person's okay. Makes it through. Now we're getting ready to turn here. Normally they would have signs out on those corners here, um, but the city got down on them saying you can't put your signs out, which is stupid because every garage sale has signs out. Well, I guess maybe because they put theirs out on barricades and they do it every weekend. Actually every day, except for Sunday and Monday. I said you didn't like it. The city has been hard on them. They tried to go to a retail space at a large yard in the back. The city wouldn't let them keep anything out in the yard said if it's for sale it needs to go inside the building so the city was being bad in my opinion it was a gated yard and the gates had privacy stuff i don't know what the deal was bad city anyway we we're pulling up they were supposed to open up at eight which it's eight on this rainy day you can see their trucks there they got their signs out Whoops, that's a curb. You should avoid those when you're in a small Prius. Except I'm not in Prius. I'm in a hamster car. Alright, I'll keep the camera on for a little bit to show you the yard. And then uh, I'm going to shut you off while I shop. And they have all the stuff here in the front. It's usually free if you want to haul it away. Don't know what they're doing. It's usually stuff on the sides over here. I don't know what they're doing out here. It's probably just trying to dry things off and get rid of things before it rains again. Nope. There's nothing I really go for except for maybe a frog. And this is where they stick the stuff that, hey, if you want it, you can have it. And this is where I got the good stuff last week. But it's all garbage right now. So inside, they usually have electronics over here. And yeah, a lot of things are wet today. And you go back, you have toys and clothes and kitchens knickknacks, some of the more expensive stuff up front. 
usually drier. They usually do the tents do a good job, but they got a little bit of rain. We have a, we had a lot of rain and wind last night, so I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. We're back. Um, I'm gonna let you guys view the beauty of Santee as I drive to the next stop. There really wasn't anything here. A lot of wet, but I was just here. Uh, Thursday or Wednesday and I bought up what I needed and doesn't look like I've got enough new stuff lately. Did see a set of Plantronic I got my seatbelt headsets but it surprised me by asking ten dollars and no thank you. Normally things are five dollars and after it rains it's normally a buck. So it is what it is and I will just move on and find other stuff. Not today. I'm done. Two quick stops. I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now and uh, then go home and spend my day uh, listing, shipping, creating, and cleaning. Is that all C's? Uh, listing, shipping. I don't know what kind of Ackman I can make out of that, but you guys can do it. But that's my day and video games. So I'm going to take breaks. Um, my health hasn't been that great this past week or so. I've had a lot of chest pains. I've been short of breath a lot from doing minimal getting up and doing a little cleaning. I tried taking a walk around the block. Felt like I was going to die. I even went to the doctor and he says I do have inflammation around the... Uh, rib cages. I guess there's a joint where a cartilage where the ribs meet the sternum and it was infl inflammated. So that was what caused him with chest pain. But he says the other stuff is probably my fibromyalgia and my um, chronic fatigue syndrome which they're attacking on me as well. So I'm looking for some alternatives. And I know Roxanne, I know you don't watch my videos, but I'm going to be looking to you for an alternative here shortly and I got my major doctor appointment scheduled for a month or two away but anyway that's this is the Santee Town Center the back side that you guys normally don't see we're going into everything's closed right now it's only like what time is it 8 30 nothing opens till 10 except for Starbucks I got my OG's pizza over there I haven't eaten there in a long time. But yeah, so I haven't been feeling that well this week, so I've been real slow getting things done. I am catching up on listing. I am staying up on shipping. It's been another good week of selling. I had one dip day that dipped down to 130 or 140, which is okay. My minimum per day I want is 145. Because that will give me a thousand dollar week, which will give me a forty, four to five thousand dollar month, which should cover all bills. I'm gonna spend some time before the end of the month and go over the budget again, adjustments, take extra money from this month and put it into a savings account and tax account. Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. blah. But it was a good week. Most of the days were 300 or plus. I had a $500 day, so I'm happy. Yeah, well, some of those 500 days are a little misleading because if when I put in the gross totals from my t-shirt sales, not merch, my website t-shirt sales, gross is about 21 to $25. Well, I only net about six to $10 on those sales, but my total sales that I report every day are gross sales, so I put the gross amounts in there. Gross, huh? Anyway, so that right there is my Starbucks. They know me there, and they'll have my drink ready when I get up there. Pretty much. <clears throat> I got the hiccups now. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. It's I don't want it to be too long. It was a short sourcing day. If I go back to the post office this afternoon, which I may do to drop off packages, I may swing into the uh, Salvation Army 
they don't open for another half hour so I may swing in there later today but besides that that's it and then tomorrow morning we're supposed to have a break in the rain as well so I will go there swap meet again and we should have a few more sellers hopefully a better day and that's it for me I hope you guys are all having a good weekend um, I hope you're having lots of sales if not work it don't worry about it you just got to work it and move forward so stay positive always, choose to be happy, and I will talk to you later.